A LAW MEANT TO PROTECT ORI COUNTY HOMES FROM FLOODING IS CHANGING AND SOME NEIGHBORS ARE CONCERNED IT'LL DO MORE HARM THAN GOOD WHEN A HURRICANE OR EVEN HEAVY DOWNPOURS HIT. WMBF'S IAN KLEIN IS LIVE IN ORI COUNTY AT THE ABERDEEN COUNTRY CLUB AND IAN HOMEOWNERS IN THE COMMUNITY KNOW JUST HOW DAMAGING FLOOD WATERS THERE CAN BE. Yeah, absolutely. In 2018, I'd be standing in about two feet of water. Many of the residents have been able to get back in their homes, but most weren't even in flood zones when Hurricane Florence came through. Since then, Horry County has taken the steps to make sure that anything built within this area has to be at least three feet above that flood line. However, yesterday they lowered it down to two feet, which means some residents feel that they're just taking a step backwards. Quite frankly, Horry County Rising is sick with grief that this is that this has happened. April Leary was one of thousands whose home was damaged by Hurricane Florence, not by the wind or the rain, but the record flood waters that followed the storm. It's really frustrating for us because essentially this decision puts a lot more people in arms way and vulnerable to flooding. The change comes less than two years after Horry County Council unanimously made updates to its flood prevention ordinance for the first time in 30 years. One of the major points was new homes built in flood zones must be at least three feet above the base flood elevation, which is measured by the height of which we had a 1% chance of a 100-year flood. Several developers expressed concerns about the higher cost it puts on them. County leaders voted to change the elevation from three feet to two feet. Horry County Councilman Al Allen and Denny Hardy say they don't believe the change will put anyone else in harm's way. This is part of our process to adjust this ordinance to where it suits everybody as practically as we possibly can. Two feet above Florence. What kind of problems would this county have? I mean, ho flooded homes would be the least because you it would be immobile. You couldn't go anywhere. O'Leary says her biggest concern with the change isn't the impact it would have on the county's supplemental flood zone, but the update on the FEMA flood zones. Our supplemental flood zone is based on Florence 2018 most historical flood high water levels. A two foot standard applied to the supplemental flood zone would put us two feet over Florence high water levels. But in the FEMA flood zone, that's not how they calculate the FEMA flood zone. They do flood mapping, use other different uh, data to determine what the FEMA flood zone is. And when you look at Horry County's FEMA flood zone, in some cases, it's three to five feet off if you were to compare that flood zone to Florence high water marks. Now, despite a lot of residents showing up to express their concerns, Horry County Council ended up approving all the changes by a vote of 9-3. to three. Councilman Al Allen said they did meet with FEMA during an executive session, and they were told that some of these changes should not impact those with flood insurance policies. They also just spoke to a woman who just walked by not too long ago. She said she'd also like to see a partnership with the North Carolina waterway. She feels a lot of the flooding that came down here was the way that they mitigated their water that came down during Florence, ultimately flooding them out. Live in Horry County, Denied Ian Klein, WMBF News.